All right, today we're going to replace the struts on a 2002 Trailblazer in a cramped garage. I should be fortunate I have a garage. Um, be back in a moment. I know there's a couple, or there's one video out there that shows how to do strut replacement. I'm going to show a little different technique. Um, you know, that other guy's got a great video. I'm not even going to try to compete. Just going to show another way to possibly tackle this. So we're going to loosen up the lugs, uh, jack her up and then uh, get underway here so I won't bore you with uh, with watching that okay we got her jacked up now uh, you know obviously in the front what we're gonna do now is remove these two 10 millimeter bolts here uh, to get the brake line out of the way and then also this clip we're gonna we're gonna disconnect this and up here uh, this knuckle I hope you can see it we're take this off and we're gonna tap that up and out I will show you as we progress here um, so as I said, we're going to take, take these bolts out. I already loosened them up, obviously. Okay, so we'll just let this sit. Put them back in so we don't lose them. Now this clip here, we're going to pop out. This line off. Good. All right. Next up here. Pop. Okay. Take this out. So to the side. Uh, hammer, don't need a B BFH, just a nice little tap. And that will give us some room to work here. So we move this, press it toward the rear of the vehicle. And our next bolt that we're going to take off, and this is where my, or I should say this method changes a little bit from what, what has been on YouTube, is I'm going to take the strut, the strut arm, and take this entire assembly out. So what I'm going to do is loosen up this bolt down here. Uh, it's 24 millimeter. I'll be honest with you, I had to run, uh, run out and grab one. Not something that was in my arsenal. And then let me get up here. I'm getting old. And then it, we're also going to loosen up here. I'm sure you guys know, but the two outside bolts. Do not loosen the middle one yet. We do that later after the assembly's out. So we're going to loosen those up as well. I'm going to back one of them all the way out, and one I'm going to leave, uh, you know, just a couple of threads in to hold things until uh, we're ready to pull her up. Fix. Not tremendously tight. See here. Take this off. Sit down there, and then go up top and loosen up the uh, the two tower bolts. And I'm going to do that right now. Okay. So up here, uh, 18 millimeter. You're going to need a deep wall. Uh, these the bolts stick out pretty far. Just a heads up there. You see, this is the one we do not touch. I'm sure you know, do not touch right now. And this one, we're going to loosen up also. All right. Like I said, we're going to leave that one in. Next step. This really moves pretty quick, you guys. You'll be, you'll be pretty impressed. Um, next thing we're going to do here is I'm going to loosen up the bolt that holds the, the strut to the strut arm. Right here, we're going to loosen this up. All right. Um, in order to get that bolt out, we're going to have to lift this assembly up a little bit. 
as you see here. And pull her free. Okay, sorry about the wobble. Set her down. Next step, we're gonna get our, what we call the Pitman arm wedge, uh, courtesy of AutoZone. I now have one with a wide enough spacing. Um, I'll, I'll show you this exactly, we'll measure it up so you know. Uh, as you can see here, when we tried last weekend, it was a little, a little too small. So when I get in here, I wasn't able to break that free. It's bottoming out on me. So the right tools, as we all know. This one is obviously going to be large enough. So what I'm going to do, and because I don't have four arms, is give this a couple taps uh, to pop this off of here, and then I'll come back and we'll continue. Okay, so back again. So an important note: um, get your jack, and uh, and you want to you want to support this assembly. As we're freeing up this arm, uh, if you've got the whole weight of this pressing down, it's going to be a real bear. I'd use another word, but we're uh, we're going to YouTube on this. So again, we've got the bolts we've got the bolts loosened up top, and I I jacked this up so that I could see the stress come off here, and we lifted this up slightly. Um, you don't have to go crazy with this thing. So I mean, it, it did take a couple of pretty good pops, but as, as you can imagine, um, with the right tool, this comes off. And what's this do now? This remember we've got the bolt up there still connected, but what this does is it frees up this entire assembly now uh, that we're going to take off the vehicle, and that'll allow us to uh, you know to compress the spring. And there we go, a little better. And uh, get in there and do the replacement. All right, so uh, what am I gonna do now? Go up top, fully remove that, that bolt, and what that's gonna do is allow this assembly to drop right out. Okay. Out. Do not touch the center, just another reminder. And then down here, out comes our assembly. Ooh. Okay, so what we're going to do is move this over and uh, we're going to proceed to compress the spring and take that and take that. Okay, so now we've got the strut assembly removed. Um, what we're going to have to do is take the arm off, and we're going to do that by, uh, you know, a BFH, if you will. Get, I'm going to get a screwdriver, pop it in here to try to spread these out, and then uh, what we can do is gently tap the arm to remove it from the strut, or hit the bottom of the strut to get it out. Uh, something else that you want to do, now I bought new strut mounts, uh, you know, with this many miles and as, as old as it is, but, but get, get up here and give a good inspection to your mounts. As you can see, these these need to be replaced. That that's that's pretty shot up here. See right here. Um, and just an, another general note. So the the screw we didn't remove, or the bolt, I'm sorry, remains on the assembly. We will deal with that after we get this spring compressed. But first things first, get the arm off. 